Coming up on Hands On Mac, it's time to take a look at this, the Apple Vision Pro that is strapped to my face and a very important feature for those of you who use the Mac. Stay tuned. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. This show is brought to you by members like you. Thanks. Welcome back to Hands on Mac. My name is Micah Sargent, and today we are taking a look at the Mac Virtual Display. Yes, a new feature for Apple's new Vision Pro headset that lets you bring your Mac into your virtual space. Now, it's important to understand that if you are looking at your Mac uh, through the cameras on the Apple Vision Pro, uh, we can switch to that view. You'll see in front of me my Mac and my two other displays. Uh, one issue with this is the fact that it's not very high resolution. I can't, I can see what the text is. I can see that that says advertise on Twit, This Week in Tech, but it's not that high resolution display that I'm used to when I'm outside of Apple Vision Pro. So what Apple has done is they've worked out a way to bring your Mac into the virtual space with you so that you can use your Mac along with the other apps that you might have going for the Vision Pro and Vision OS. Now, it's important to understand that right now there is a limitation. You can only use it with one screen. So these three screens are more real estate than I have within uh, Apple Vision Pro. Uh, and in that case, I know that when I turn this feature on, it is not going to be as uh Again, I won't have as much to, to work with, right? I can make the screen large, I can shrink it down, but each of these individual screens, it's a little different when it comes to that. So let's talk about uh, how we make this happen. First and foremost, you need to make sure that you and the Apple Vision Pro are on the same Wi-Fi network and that you're logged in with your Apple ID. And once you are, then you are able to use this feature. Now, uh, depending on your Mac and depending on your Apple Vision Pro and kind of uh, how familiar the two devices are with each other, uh, one way that you will see this feature kick in is by simply looking at your Mac and waiting for a little connect option to appear above the screen. Now on my MacBook Air, that feature pops up, I can tap uh, to select it. But here we're actually going to access our Mac by using Control Center. So in order to access Control Center on the Apple Vision Pro, I will look up until I see a green arrow. Well, it's green in my case because I'm currently uh, screen recording, or I should say view recording, that's what it's called on the Apple Vision Pro. Uh, but you will see that little arrow, and that is how you access some of the kind of quick settings, including Control Center. So I will move my eyes over to Control Center, and I will use the standard uh, way of interacting, which is to pinch my fingers to select Control Center, and then I will find the option that lets me mirror my screen to my Mac. That shows the Apple Vision Pro in front of a Mac laptop. That is Mac Virtual Display. I'll choose that, and it may take a second for your view to pop up uh, for the different options that you have. Mine only shows one, the DWA Mac Studio. That's the one I want to use. So I will select that. And then it's going to create a virtual display on my Mac. You'll notice my other uh, monitors turned off and I just have this one view. It might be a little confusing because now you're seeing me in front of us. I'm going to move that into the background so you can see the screen here. And the first thing I want to do is look to the bottom of the screen and the bar lets me adjust the view of the uh, window, bring it towards me, push it away. Uh, and the X, of course, the circle next to it that I'm gazing at will let me completely close out of this. So I will pinch to select and bring the view in front of that uh, studio display. And now I'm using my mouse to control the Mac. So I can move it around. I can type in uh, characters here very easily. Um, I am able to basically access my whole uh, machine. Oh, including, look at that. There's an Apple Vision Pro unboxing. Now, you probably aren't going to want to use this for something like uh, browsing Safari, and that is because there's already a Safari app built into the Apple Vision Pro. So maybe on this screen, uh, I, I can look to the sides of it, and I can actually increase the size of the screen, check that out, and I could push this uh, 
back to take up so much of the space in my room. Now suddenly I've got this huge screen, but let me go ahead and once again, look up to control center, look up to access control center and launch apps. And then I'm gonna choose Safari. Huh. I can take this and bring it over to the side here. And maybe I want to uh, kind of bring it down. There we go. And now I could be browsing with Safari here and on this main screen, maybe this is where I do something else, you know, uh, like run Ecamm or uh, perhaps I work on a Photoshop project, an image project with this screen that essentially feels like it's taking up the entire wall in my space. Uh, I can easily make it a little bit smaller. I can bring it forward and closer to me so I could get real nice and close on it, uh, kind of put it down in my lap if I want to, or I'll, I'll grab that and bring it back up. And maybe I want to put it above Safari over to the side here. And then I could go ahead and open up a, another app. And this time I'm going to use the, um, the option to click on the digital crown to bring up the home screen essentially. And now I can open up music and then I'll take music and I will put that out of the way shrink it down. I don't need a whole lot of space for music. And then I could go through and, and uh, play some music. In this case, I don't really want to uh, play music because we're doing a show and then it would probably get taken down. But now I've got over here, my music over here, I've got my Mac running. And then down here, I've got Safari so that I could go uh, to any of these pages. So even though you only get one Mac view, because you've got all of this space to work with around you, you can suddenly see how you would be able uh, to still maintain some level of uh, increased productivity, I would say, potentially, by having uh, not just the one Mac view, but also the Safari view as well. Um, then if at any time I want to leave this view, I can simply look to the X on the screen or once again, look up to control center and uh, select control center there and then tap to close Mac virtual display. But I'm going to show you just by looking down at the X, clicking the X. And then suddenly my views will return with my displays all popping up once again uh, there. Then I can click and drag to bring this up into my virtual space and boom, I've got all three uh, options here. So now once again, the view isn't as good. That's because it's not meant to be used this way. I'm not meant to look through the Apple Vision Pro at uh, a screen, but instead to bring that screen into my virtual space. Folks, that's just the first of a lot that I'll be able to talk about when it comes to the Apple Vision Pro. Uh, thank you for tuning into Hands On Mac. And as always, you can email me, Micah at twit.tv. Uh, thank you for being a member of Club Twit, and I will catch you next week for another episode. Bye-bye.